hey guys welcome back to my channel um welcome back to my channel so today is gonna be a graduation look you guys say that it's not too late to do one i know there are i know of two universities that have had their grads already so sorry but um other people are still yet to graduate so let's get into it okay. don't know what i was gonna do but this palette just arrived today from smashbox um it looks cute so um i might use it did my eyebrows off camera i used a new product because i don't have any eyebrow products don't know if i like it but it'll have to do for now i'm just gonna prep my skin with my smashbox primer water you guys know i don't really use pr primer but I like sort of like moisturizers or like hydrating mists to prime my skin. So I think I'm going to start off with my eyes. Should I? No, I'm not. Let me start off with my skin. Um, like the way I normally do my routine because I'm not really doing a crazy eye anyway. So I'm going to go in with my um, new Dior for your foundation. Um, a small high end, a small luxe. But it is a stunning foundation and I like showing you guys what I'm using, what I like. This is the matte finish and um i mean i'm living for the shade match living for that shade match i like the coverage i like the texture of the foundation and especially if you want to like you know give them like this will be the fun like a foundation like this not exactly this one like an estee lauder like a nars like a lancome maybe but that's sort of like estee lauder kind of like finish and coverage i feel like would do just fine so i really like the coverage of this foundation i love the way it makes my skin look that's what you want i think for like celebration sort of days you want your skin to look airbrushed and flawless but not cakey and that's what i like about this foundation the kid jokes uh i'm trying to use products in this tutorial that are available here it's not drugstore but it's definitely all available here so i'm going in with my mac uh studio fix concealer and this is the shade nc45 my nails are looking so crazy because i only did them like just before i filmed and they were still wet they weren't completely dry and i've messed them up so i might do them after this well i will do them again after this i love this concealer shade for the yellowness it's just like so bright and that's what you want on the on a day like this your graduation or even prom like matric maybe so i'm taking my sigma beauty blender makeup sponge and i am blending this in i love this sponge so much by the way you can get sigma from amuse beauty but also i have a discount code always for you to get sigma which is always 10 percent off so i just love what this concealer does it brightens it gives me some yellowness that i really love giving me sort of this like caramelly tone to my skin that's always a look i like to have when i have an important event dinner sort of thing and just to look juicy <laughs> So note how like with just concealer we have done slight contouring, reverse contouring if you will to contour and I like to cream contour when it's too, you know. So I'm going in with none other than my black opal uh, true colour foundation stick and um, I just use this to contour. I go in with the shade Suede Mocha. I'm going to take this Sigma brush it's the 3d hd max kabuki and i'm just buffing this into the skin and i buff it upwards i don't want to drag that contour down i want to buff it upwards because going up is how we tend to look uh, more youthful and younger if we drag that dark color down it's going to drag our face down as well so now we're ready to bake and I'm keeping things yellow and mellow and choosing a banana powder that is just, that is of course yellow. Sasha Beauty or the Sasha Buttercup powders you can purchase locally from Samika. 
600 rand for this i've had this is my first one and my only one and i've had it for i'm sure it's been almost a year now and i've got a long way to go so i would say it's actually worth the money especially if white powders um sort of intimidate you a little bit laura mercier is one of my favorites but i think for some people like it's still a little bit like can I use that? Which of course you can, but I guess because it is a white powder, you might feel like, can I really? So that's what I love about this sponge. It's got the sharp edge here and I can get right into my nose. Okay, so while that bake is going, I'm just gonna powder my face with my black opal powder. And this is the same shade as my foundation. And this is where we're just setting everywhere we didn't bake and i am not contouring with the deeper powder i'm taking that same foundation powder and contouring my nose so let's get into eyeshadow i'm gonna try and use this um eyeshadow primer from smashbox i don't think i've used it before it's called the smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer i think this would be best if i didn't have any product on my eye let's scrap that i'm just gonna go in with my um mac concealer work in the base i feel like concealers on your lids work just as good as eyeshadow primers if not even better the only one i've ever used successfully is mac soft ochre i'm gonna go in this shade called it's this um, brown over there and I like that there's a mirror in here we're just gonna rip this off Ooh. this looks like the ideal perfect travel palette too so we're gonna take this valet into the crease I'm gonna do circular round motions. By the way, I know that there wasn't a bit back to basics video this month, which is meant to be about eyeshadow blending. Um, because I did the London vlog, I'm still gonna do that. Um, we just take some tips from this eyeshadow work I'm doing now. We're just going in circular motions, um, all the way from the edge of the eye inwards. We will be creating a halo eye. Essentially, we want to keep the same energy from the outside in. Um, but do it slowly, take your time and gradually build color. And go in circular motions as well. This helps you um, sort of practice your technique and ability to, to blend. Because you are actually blending this out at the same time. So I really like that color. It's a sort of like terracotta terracotta brown for this sort of day i have two mirrors in front of me i've got this one and i've got one here because you want to see what you look like from a distance and you also want to see that you've caught the detail when you are working up close and from a distance i could see that i can definitely darken up this crease space so i'm gonna go in with this um chocolate brown over here it uh, looks quite dark so we're gonna really go in very lightly with this shade and I mean very lightly I almost want to take an even smaller brush and this is where you really want to take your time so there's this eye and that's what it's looking like so I'm taking a thick concealer, um, we want to cut our crease, I'm using my Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer and I'm just placing some on the back of my hand um, and I'm going to use my brush to pick it up, I'm taking my Sigma Concealer F25 brush and this is where I'm going to cut my crease and I'm initially putting down concealer where you can see a bit of my my lid peeking through and I'm going to take the brush up higher until I hit my eye where it digs in and that is where I'm going to cut 
to fix up any mistakes we go back in with that darker shade and we redefine where we want the crease to actually stop so sticking with this palette i'm going in with my sigma large shader e60 and i'm going with the shade called almond which is this lighter brown hair which is not too far from our transition shade and i'm basically packing this onto the areas where we apply concealer and it's almost the same color as the concealer but it essentially mattifies that eyeshadow now you definitely still want to take this up a notch so we're going to add some glitter I love these Stila um, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows They can be a little bit messy or tricky to work with because for what I want to do this um, applicator might be a little bit too thick so I'm going to first start off with a super duper skinny brush um, which is this one here and I'm going to dig into some color off the bristle and I'm going to take this at the top of where I put where the concealer was and I'm just going to take this right right under that sort of like dark line and just be patient take your time we're going to go in with this peachy or this coral pink here and we're going to take that to our inner corner just for a pop of color because it's not a basic look just when you thought we were being basic we upped the ante by putting some color in our tear duct basically just gonna fix up our bottom lashes we're gonna take our crease color to underneath our eye then we're gonna go in with that um, dark chocolate color and just line the water not the waterline but just line just underneath one thing I did forget to do, which only is because I haven't done it in a while because I haven't had a pencil like that for a while, is line my waterline. I just picked this up today from NYX. I'm sure I have one, but I was out and I didn't want to risk it. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil and I'm just taking this to my waterline, which I should have done before, but I forgot. I need to bronze up so I'm taking my MAC Sun Power Powder. I need to use my... It's, it's okay. It's working. Just gonna add some colour to our cheeks with this bronzer. I have some new lippies from MAC but I think I want to intensify this eye quickly. The pink in the eye because it seems like it's not as intense. I'm gonna first try this color from Smashbox. It came with the palette and I'm thinking it'll suit the eye. So let's see. It's just a glass, that's all. No. Look a bit like a doll. Nope, nope, nope. Not today. I'm taking my NYX lip liner in brown. And I'm lining my lips. I'm then taking my Tom Ford lip gloss. And I'm going over that with my Maybelline Unreal. I 
We're going to take MAC Hyper Real Glow. I have this ginormous um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. In comparison, these are the sizes of the bottles. It's like, how many moles? How many moles is this? 240. And you sort of need all nighter spray if you want your makeup to last all day. Okay, so I've had to switch on my ring light because it's gone completely dark. And you're not going to see the finished look. <laughs> but this is the finished look. I'm really happy with the way it turn out, turned out. I just put on a white blazer to look clean, cute, whatever. There's have no time to do my hair because obviously I'm chasing the sun. There's a little bit of, it's daylight, but there's no sun coming into this room at all. Because I'm covered by trees and other buildings. It is as glam as I think like a graduation should be. Um, you know, you have a little bit of glitter, but a little bit of color as well. It's not too like um, neutral or nude because you have this like pop of pink in the inner corners. And I went for a glossy lip because I tried and... I think just nothing compares to like a glossy lip and um, obviously you would go crazy like with your hair and your earrings and your jewelry but for the purpose of this video I just keep it quite clean and classic because obviously you're going to drape your gown over your um, clothes and then I still think this is appropriate for lunch or dinner after graduation so I hope you guys enjoyed this look and a few of the products the few of the new products that I used um, don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you haven't already and just be aware that if you haven't caught it I am doing a giveaway um, to reach 36,000 um, subscriber youtubers 36,000 subscribers so make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media whether it's Instagram or Twitter it doesn't have to be both and not everyone is on Instagram or everyone is on Twitter. The most important thing is that you, of course, follow me. You subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.